Before I start this lesson, let me make sure of one thing. You need to you need to make sure that you have uh, given me an, an acceptable answer to this this uh, little worksheet here. That you've come up with a formula for uh, finding the sum of the degrees in any uh, shape. So you needed to complete this. That the know how many what's the sum of the degrees of all the of all the angles in an equilateral, in a pentagon, in a hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, and then a formula for n-gon. Okay, if you have that, let's just walk through what you should have come up with. If I have n sides, so I don't know how many sides, but I could put any number in here. I could put 378 sides. So I have 378 gone. That's how we name that. Uh, if I have a 378 gone, um, the number of triangles, you should notice a pattern here, is just however many sides I have or how many angles I have, minus 2. That's how many triangles I have. And remember, the explanation you should have come up with here is that each of those triangles, the sum of all the angles in each of those triangles is 180 degrees. So if I have, like in a decagon, 8 triangles, then the total number of degrees in that decagon is 8 times 180. Um, for an n-gon, if I have n minus 2 triangles, that's the number of triangles. Each of them is 180 degrees, so each means times. So my formula that I'm going to use here throughout the rest of this lesson is n minus 2 times 180, where n is the number of sides. You might want to write that down. n is the number of sides and the number of angles. So let's take a look at how this looks here. A couple of different types of problems. Um, the first is if we just want to know What's the sum of the angle measures in a figure? Notice the sum. So if I add up all the angles, what does it equal? How many degrees do I have within this figure? So if I have a 12-sided figure, okay, I'm going to use n minus 2 times 180. And notice a, a dodecagon, a 12-sided figure, n is 12. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 12 here and do 12 minus 2 times 180, and parentheses before multiplication, tells me 10 times 180 is uh, 1,800 degrees. Uh, just to show you this again, uh, 26 gone. Any number of sides this formula will work for. 26 is n, the number of sides, the number of angles. Um, so I'm going to take 26 minus 2 uh, times 180. Uh, 26 minus 2 tells me there are 24 triangles. Each of them is 180 degrees. So I'll multiply that, and I get... 4,320 degrees is the sum of all the angle measures. That's the sum. Be careful, we haven't found individual angles yet. If I have a regular polygon, remember that means all the sides are the same. If I want to find each individual angle measure, this is sort of like what we did for triangles. Um, I can set up an algebraic equation and solve for x here, but with triangles it always equaled 180. That's different if I have, say, a hexagon, or a nonagon, or a decagon. It's going to equal a different number of angles. The sum of all the angles, the adding up of all the angles, equals something different. So here, n equals 6. So first thing I have to do is, what would it equal if I added up all 6 angles? For that, I'm going to do 6 minus 2 times 180. 6 minus 2 tells me there are 4 triangles within this hexagon. So the total number, the total of all the angles is 720 degrees, 4 times 180. So if I add up all the angles, so I'm going to have to write this out, put plus signs in between all the angles. Make sure you're writing all this stuff down, by the way. You might have to pause the uh, video here. If I put plus signs between all the angles, that's going to be x plus x plus x plus x plus x. I count up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, I need one more. Uh, plus x. That's going to equal 720, not 180. If it equals 180, it's a triangle. This is not a triangle. It's a hexagon. And now combine like terms, I have 6x equals 720. Divide by 6. Each of those angles equals 120 degrees. That makes a hexagon. It's a regular hexagon, so all the angles are equal. What if I don't have a regular polygon? What if I have this pentagon? Notice the angles are somewhat different. Um, I do have five sides, so the first thing I need to do is figure out what do these five angles equal if I add them up. To do that, use the formula for finding the sum of all the angle measures. 
So 5 minus 2 times 180 tells me there are three triangles, each of them 180 degrees. 540 degrees is the total of all the angle measures. So that's if I add up all five angles, this is the sum. So I'm going to go ahead and put plus signs in between all the angle measurements. Y plus 125. I'm just working my way around the circle. Plus 105 plus 105 plus 125. Wrote down all my angles, put plus signs in between. It equals, again, not 180. It equals 540. Because that's what the sum of all the angles is in any, any pentagon. doesn't matter what the angle measurements are. It has to equal 540. So I'll combine these like terms here. I'll do 125 plus 105 plus 105 plus 125. And that equals 460. So y plus 460 equals 540. And I need to subtract 460 from both sides. When I do that, I find y equals 80 degrees. And that's it. So let's update our tools for finding missing angle measures come up with all eight by now. We've spent a lot of time focusing on how to find missing angle measurements. Our focus will shift in the next lesson to side lengths. And how do we deal with side lengths in geometry? Because each shape is made up of angles and it's made up of sides. So getting back to our list for finding missing angle measurements, we start out with complementary. Remember that equals 90. Supplementary is when I have uh, two or more angles that add together to equal 180 degrees. Uh, vertical angles, when I have the intersection of two lines, the angles across from each other are equal. Then if I have two parallel lines that are uh, intersected by, both are intersected by the same transversal, corresponding angles is where uh, one angle from one set of one intersection matches another angle from the other intersection. Alternate interior, they're both inside the parallel lines on either side of the transversal. Alternate exterior, outside the parallel lines on either side of the transversal. Uh, we talked about in the last lesson, the triangle sum theorem. All angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if I'm missing one of those angles, set up an equation. And then today we talked about how we use, I guess you could call it the polygon sum theorem, n minus 2 times 180 to figure out what's the sum of the angles in a polygon, any polygon, and then set up an equation for that.